Beloved in Christ, this is another day. The Almighty, the owner of life, he has given us a life. That's why you and I, we are still alive. So beloved, let us pray. Our King, our Lord, our Savior, the only wise God who has done this for us this morning. But at this morning, we magnify your name. The name is Jehovah Jarrah. The name is Jehovah Nisi, the banner. So Father, we will not take your glory. So this morning, we have to thank you for what you have done. Immortal, everlasting God, you alone is worthy to be thanks. So Father, we thank you. We glorify the name, the only name that your children, the ones that knows you, call you, that your name is Jehovah, Yahweh. We give you all your glory for giving us a life. This day, as you alone has done it for us, may your name be praised. In Jesus Christ, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. This morning, he has given us a word. We have to give thanks to our God. The title of the message, we have to give thanks to our God. So without wasting time, let us read Psalm 75. Let us hear his word. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks. You are wondrous works. Declare your name is near to when I choose the proper time, I will judge upright the earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved. Hallelujah. I set up a pillar firmly for, I said to the boastful, do not deal boastfully. And to the wicked, do not lift up your horn. Do not lift up the horn of your high. Do not speak with a swift neck. Six, for exhortation come near from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge, and he put down one and exhort another. Eight, for in the time of the Lord, there is, and the wine is red. It is fully mixed and pour it out. Surely drug shall be all the wicked on the earth. Drain and drink them. But I will declare forever, I will sing praise to God of Jacob. The last best. All the horns of the wicked will also cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is about the wicked soul and those who are called by God, the children of the Most High God. And God is going to judge us all. So beloved, this morning, where do you stand? You want to serve the king of kings? You want to serve the master? You want to serve the owner, the one who created you and I? So this is the day that you have to make your choice. Tomorrow will be too late. So he said, the last verse, the horn of the wicked, I will also cut it off. Beloved, you cannot hide from him. He knows you. 
He knows me, our inside and outside. But the horn of the righteous shall be exalted. That means those who know him, he will be with him. They will be with him, rather. But those who doesn't know him, they will be with their master. That is the devil and his demons. So this morning, which way do you want to go? Do you want to be with the Lord, your maker, your king? Do you want to be the Lord, your savior? It is a choice. So he is telling us, you and I, time is not on our side. Tomorrow will be too late. Only today, you and I have it. So beloved, today is a day of repentance. So beloved, make your mind from all the crooked ways. You don't need it. You need only Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and the Holy Spirit, our comforter, our teacher, our guide, our friend. He will direct your paths and you will know him fellowship with him. It is a daily basis. So beloved, his word has come. David, that wrote this Psalm 75, knew his God. But David is no more around. It is you and I. So beloved, it is a decision that you have to make. And to be with the Lord is internal life. And to be with Satan is internal condemnation. So which way do you want? There are only two kingdoms, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. So beloved, the message has come. It is a time only today is on our side. And those who does not know God, it is time to repent. He is ready to receive anyone. So this afternoon, the message has come. It is time to repent and come to accept Christ as your personal savior. And he will receive you. The door is open. Christ's door is still open for any sinner who want to serve Christ. Jesus is calling you. As he said in Matthew 6, 33, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all things shall be added unto you. So beloved, this is the time. This is the moment as today, you are living. Today, I am also living, but it's a decision. Do you know him? Do you want to go with him? So make up your mind. We give him all his glory for giving us a message. And we thank him. That's why he is a covenanted God. May his name be praised forever and forever as he is the owner of life. May your name be exalted. Spirit of the living God, may you bless your end time prophet, the one that you have ordained to win souls for you and also his viewers. May you do their hard desire for them, for availing themselves to listen to end time prophet. Hallelujah. We thank you, Spirit of the living God. We praise you for what you have given us today because this is the message we need to quench our test. And this is the message for the soul. May your name be exalted. Jesus Christ, your word has come and we thank you. Amen and amen in your name. Amen.